Hey friends, Shane from HowToRinch.com. I got a new tool in the shop and I've been wanting one of these forever. And I'm curious if you have one, know of one, wish you had one. Uh, let me show you what it does and how I'm gonna use it. And I'm super stoked about this I got. Screwed over on a deal two years ago on one of these and this is the first time I found one that was a reasonable price. So let me show you. All right, so it's a rotary tool table to save space. And basically, uh, there's one of these bits that I'm going to have to make that. But you can mount your chop saw, your uh, sanders, your grinders, whatever on here. And then what I could do is just rotate this around and use the next tool. So I could chop saw, set it aside, grab my piece, rotate to my grinder. It's going to be stupid cool. Uh, to be able to put three tools on there, they're going to be really fast and easy to access. I mean, I'm super stoked. So I'm curious, like, if you have one or uh, any tips on maybe how you store your tools or what you do. Like I said, I found one of these two years ago uh, on Facebook, Marketplace or something, and by the time I got there, they screwed me out of it, and I've been on the hunt. And they're either stupid expensive or what I think is reasonable enough for me to say, no, i will buy that, and I finally found one. I'm not gonna say what I paid for it, because I want you to guess. I'm gonna put a little poll on there and say, what do you think this is worth? If anything, you might not like it at all, and you might love it, and the other reason I wanted it is, as I take it apart and kind of put some fresh wood on there, it's a little thin, thinner than I expected. Um, at least I'll kind of see the mechanism and, and how they came up with it, because let me show you what I'd like to do. So I've made huge progress in the dirty room. I know y'all seen all the videos on how great the shop's coming, but the dirty room is uh, where I wanna spend a lot of time. So I've started getting everything really set up and organized, and this is a really cool bench. I also got a marketplace, 12 feet long, but you could see it clutters up quickly with tools. So if I'm using a sander, I'm using a chop saw, or I'm using my, my wood saw, it's it's just, I'm always having to grab something. So right now, like, I'll grab it from underneath the bench and then put it on top, use it, and rotate it around. I'm just thinking, how cool would it be if I took that, and then what my original thoughts were is I was gonna cut the top of this and basically build a base to make that flush with this table so that I'd be able to go in here and have this whole workspace and then just rotate the three different tools. But the more I'm thinking about it, I think I have room right here move some of the welding equipment around. I think I could sneak that in there pretty handy and then have that more dedicated for space to work or lay parts or whatnot. Or what I'll do is copy that cool design from that and make another one in here. The person that, that uh, built this already had something like that where they'd set this down. It happened to be flush for them. It doesn't fit for my tools, but um, the basis or the idea there is pretty cool. Um, I think this thing is going to be awesome i love ideas that you know give us more space i mean geez just last week and even getting stupid stuff like hangers hung up to get some of the wood off the ground get, i love tools that i use for the same like process if you will i'll organize so all the clamps and more of the woodworking stuff is together uh check out the drill area this is pretty cool so we got this old 1976 uh drill press that's just stout and awesome we love it it's the only thing i broke when i moved so bummed um i gotta fix a foot switch on it but you could see the the organizer in the back there i got that free a facebook marketplace um it's stupid heavy i don't know what they ever intended to do with it but it worked out great for putting all the like you know drill bits and accessories and i'll have clamps hanging and so on you could start to see the the new mill i'm getting some of the accessories hanging up and you know manuals and and clamps all you know organized for that and then this this is something i did back in our bronson shop back in iowa is way cool is having a vacuum that's ready to go plugged in available at any time with a long enough hose that it can you know clean up whatever mill work i'm doing drill work it'll reach all the way over on that workbench to clean anything up you know clean up around the lathe i like a clean workspace uh, not to be working on top of everything so pretty cool Last week, if you haven't seen it yet, I did the little update on the vapor blasting and the new compressor, but I've made some uh, progress on uh, installing regulators and hoses and wiring. Uh, started plumbing the new shop, going to run some uh, hose, some poly line for just the, the air pressure stuff. Those, If you haven't used that kind of stuff, I got a bunch of 
accessories there but it's pretty cool so you can see here where i've got a mount just waiting ready for that line to come in on this low pressure stuff where i'm, I'm maxing it at 90 like an osha you know typical osha standard uh you know workspace where i don't need a ton of volume or whatnot i'm just cleaning parts or blowing something off or whatnot um i love this little poly line it's rated at a hundred and uh uh, you can get 125 to 150 psi this stuff is 125 um, but like i said i'm using the lower pressure anyway so it works great but this is crazy cheap uh you know what uh 25 foot of this is only like oh i think it was seven or eight bucks at um home depot the re the, the more expensive like intended brake line if you will of semis that they use for like airlines and they use it on trains and all kinds of stuff where it's rated 150 the price of 25 feet goes up to 40 bucks a roll so not needed for what i'm doing uh, at all crazy 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 cool uh even just getting some of the raw materials out so they're not so buried i got a video to make where we were putting a lowering kit on uh one of the dirt bikes for uh for my girlfriend and i couldn't find my stock so we ended up using a bunch of washers and kind of just getting through the day so we could go ride and i'm like there it is now i can make an actual good spacer on the lathe the way i would want to super excited about that even like i'm finding stuff in boxes that like i forgot i had different clamps and vices and different stuff but uh anyway that's a, a quick little what's going on and back to the focus of this video I'm so curious if anybody else has ever had one of these because it always surprises me when I see one pop up for sale finally I like and like this one doesn't make any sense because it's it's only got holes drilled on one side so it's like did they never use it for what it was really intended for you know are they a pile of junk I mean shoot even has wheel kit on it uh leveling like I I don't know I'm looking at this thing going no brain or why have I not had something like this forever to save space um, you know, just in case somebody's not been on the channel before, um, you know, the main shop, we got plenty of room. I don't have the lights on, so I'm, I'm getting out of here, but we got plenty of room in here and it's not really an issue for us here, but where we want to make a lot of dust and shavings and everything else, that's going to really save some room. That thing's stupid cool. Oh, you know another thing we got mounted up and I started building uh, ahead of time. If you remember at the old shop, I had a vacuum set up uh, for the grinder and for like these tools here. Like anything has a dust port on it like that. Um, I'm going to have basically a hose run along here that'll just be waiting at the bench to hook up to different size accessories on that. But for the grinder, you know, I got to use that set up it at my shop in Iowa my shop in California so I've got a good two years into that you know design whether quote unquote it was worth it and I'm gonna tell you there was a lot less you know shavings and and you know grinding dust and everything around the work area having that so obviously I went through the work to mount it up again is way cool it's not you can't see it on there now but what's on the other side is actually just another one of these little vacuums and at the original shop, one vacuum, they were close enough and plumbed together that one shot, one vacuum, I put those ports on there so I could go between, you know, using the hose by that ball valve or just using uh, the grinder ones basically to give more suction to what I was doing. And it worked great. I went with, uh, I'm going to use two vacuums in here just because it's going to cost more to plumb over to that one than it would be to buy a $20 vacuum. So it just makes more sense to just put an individual one on there. But I know it's cool, what do you think? We can get back to making some cool stuff and making more training aids. Uh, we've got some exciting stuff coming up with the drone company that uh, I'm building some stuff for. And we wanna be making more of this stuff and having a dedicated workspace to make these cutaways and these training aids. Oh, love it can't wait it's weekend fun now but makes for some fun weekends so i am going to get back at it so if you don't mind leave some comments like share subscribe all that good stuff below and tell us your stories or experiences with uh some type of rotary table or how you store your uh your tools and what you do hey what are you doing have you hit that subscribe button that notification bell you're gonna be missing out on videos and free prizes and raffles we have coming up